what's the difference between an incremental and a radical change? It's kind of strange that most businesses and many academics are searching for and wish to study radical innovation that make quantum changes and are not very much interested in the incremental stuff. And so what researchers and business people have begun to do is to sort of say, I'm interested in the radical stuff, not the incremental stuff. And the problem is we've got too much of this incremental stuff. And the problem there is, without recognizing that incremental and radical are all different points along one distribution, we fail to ever recognize the process by which the magnitude of change unfolds. Namely, if you begin to look at it, you'll find that it tends to reflect a negative power law. A negative power law, which is like very many other social and physical phenomena of change, reflect the fact that there are a few in the distribution that are of large magnitude of change, and there are very many that are of small magnitude, like the sizes of earthquakes, like the length of words that are used in the dictionary, like the size of cities throughout the world, like the magnitude of innovation events in the case of innovation. They reflect a negative power law. And to say, I'm only interested in the big ones and not the rest, is to truncate the distribution of the phenomena that we're trying to understand. It makes no sense.